Here's an up close of the Dometic Go Hydration water faucet. Dometic designed this device with the intention of creating a running water system without having to plug it into an external power source while outdoors or on the go. It's perfect for car camping, picnics, or road trips. It's got an automatic one-touch button which starts the water flow and an integrated LED light so you can see what you're doing in the dark. There's an adhesive puck which is included in the faucet package which can be attached to different surfaces and the faucet itself has a magnetic base which can attach to the puck's location of choice. It's meant to partner up with the hydration water jug and I've got some thoughts on attaching the puck directly to the jug itself so it's all in one place. We'll check that out in a moment. So what fueled this whole water jug conundrum? I just got back from a big road trip from Minnesota to California with my partner and we wanted to bring our own water from home for the trip. And we wanted to have a lot of it on the road, especially while we took a southerly route home through the desert. I went with the Scepter 5 gallon, which is 20 liters um, for the trip, which worked fantastic, but we found that it wasn't the easiest to pour from. And it always took two people to fill our water bottles, even with the hose and spigot attachment. Every time we brought our water from the picnic table back to the car or to the picnic table from the car during rest stops, every night we pulled into our motel and lugged this big scepter inside. And every time we clumsily poured water into narrow mouth water bottles while holding the canister and the spigot, I thought something's missing here. So in walks the Dometic 11 liter water jug. I actually saw this water canister at REI when I was going to pick up the spigot attachment for the scepter five. At the time, REI only had the slate color, which is sort of a dark gray, and that felt like it was gonna attract heat way too much. Uh, with it almost being half the size of the scepter as well, and being a color that I thought would just be not the right fit with the conditions, I originally decided that the scepter would still be the best bet for our trip. I kept thinking about this canister though. Uh, don't get me wrong, the scepter is still staying. It was a huge win for our extended trip and gave me great peace of mind knowing I had enough water to support two humans for a few days straight without refills. But I wanted something that would be lighter weight, lighter in color, and would dispense water easier so that my partner could handle it solo. When we got back from our trip, I got on the wait list for the faucet and ordered the ash color of the water jug, and I'm so stoked to try them together for the first time. Let's give it a whirl, shall we? All right, so we've got the Dometic 11 liter water jug right here, and I've got the uh, faucet. Let's put it all together and see what it looks like. So inside, I've already filled this guy up with water. I've also already attached the magnetic clip-on attachment that comes with the faucet, and I've already charged this guy up a little bit. So first, I just want to show you all inside. Pretty cool actually that they include a little filter uh, on the end of the hose in case you had some type of debris inside your canister if you're filtering out in the woods. I think it gives you a lot more options, which is cool. Let's screw that guy back on. It's already filled up with water, so. We're just going to attach this now. Pretty simple, clicks right in. This guy has a little section that you can put the hose on. And there we go, bada bing bada boom. Okay, everything's together, let's give it a try. So two taps turns it on, one tap turns it off. Awesome. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> um, I'm already picturing being at camp and wanting to just rinse my hands off real quick and just doing a very, very quick tap. It's got the light underneath so you see how full up your cup is. One tap off. It's super responsive. It actually, one, two, tap off. One, two, off. Wow. <sighs> Bougie, but cool. <laughs> Let's say you wanted to put it on your table or if you wanted to have it up on the side of your car. Let's see how well that works. That's a pretty good stream too.
Awesome. A really quick side note, I received this in the mail actually a week or so ago, and the one that arrived to me came without the port for the uh, electrical connection to charge. Um, there's a hole for it, but there's not actually a metal receiver for the cord itself, um, which was super disappointing because I had waited. I was on like the pre-order list for it. I um, was super stoked to do a video for it right away and got it and wasn't able to actually get it all set up. What's really cool is I emailed the medic, uh, let them know kind of what I was aiming to do, and they fast-tracked one to me. They shipped one to me like next day error. Um, it was super quick and came in the mail. And then I got this guy, um, perfectly working, um, has all the parts and pieces and uh, charges no problem. So uh, just a testament to Dometic um, and their customer service. Um, I was really impressed. Um, I had to wait a little bit of time, but that's okay. And they were able to make that right. So thank you, Dometic. I'll give a long-term update down the road when I can actually use this in the field, but I'm already thinking car camping, weekend trips, extended trips in conjunction with the Scepter, and maybe even bikepacking with a little trailer if I want to bring some water on a ride that is a campsite where it's a little more remote. It's 1000% a luxury item, and it feels like a really great creature comfort when refilling a water bottle, brushing your teeth, or rinsing your hands off of the campsite or picnic site. I see this fitting into more relaxed outdoor excursions nicely and ones where the gear you bring don't really need to be super limited. But I'm excited to put it to test a little bit more and we'll see what we think of it down the road. But thanks for joining me for the initial unboxing and the first pour. As always, I'm Milo Tash. Thanks for watching.